What is going on everyone and welcome to the first of our player reviews for eFootball's Dream Team. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pedri. A lot of people have been asking me to do reviews on specific players. So I've played a lot of games with Pedri. I think he's one of the best players in the game by a mile. We're going to have a look at his stats. We're going to see his price. We're going to judge you know, how good he is compared to other players. So we're going to take a look here at his base player profile, right? He's 78 overall. You can see all his player skills. You can see his speed, his passing, his ball control is fantastic. But I think the biggest thing for Pedri is just his movement. And he plays so well in that center midfielder, attacking midfielder role. Now, if we go over to eFootballDB.com here, we can actually simulate and see how he's going to be able to be trained up. We can flip him around and see, okay, right, he's got a very nice base unit of stats. He's got some very nice player skills. He's got tree form, as you can see down there in the bottom corner. But when we do start to kind of train him up, we can decide what player we're going to make him. Are we going to make him a passer? Are we going to make him a dribbler? Are we going to make him a combination player where he's bringing the ball forward? What I've kind of boosted him up to be and what I've trained him for is to be kind of like an all-rounder. So bringing the ball forward, not the best defensively, but we do have a couple of players to fill that, you know, fill that role in the squad. What we want Pedri is to be our main kind of link between defense and attack, bringing the ball forward, getting a few tap-ins, running deep into the box, you know, linking everybody. Nearly every goal that you're going to see scored in the clips coming up are involving Pedri. So there's a reason for that, and I think that when you look at his stats and what he can come up to, a 91, 92 overall CMF, you can see his movement here, you can see his tight control, you can see his finesse passing, his finesse shooting, everything just works with him, I think he's a really nice player, he's got a low center of gravity, he's also got like really nice player ID as well, so he's got some unique animations, which always makes makes a big difference, but you'll see there's such a variety of shots, such, such a variety of movements, I think what the biggest thing I'm impressed with him and what I've played, like maybe 20 games, 25 games with him across two profiles, like you can see he's got dribbling, he's got runs into the box, he's got finesse shooting, he's got link up play that you can see the passes outside of the right foot. Yeah, it looks simple. I mean, this is a very easy goal. But if you if you kind of look at more of the some more clips, you can see his movement into these areas doesn't work out for him there. He's back straight away back. His AI is running back defensively to get back into his position. He gets into that position, little flick, little pass back in again, two passes in quick succession. And then it's a finish from a tight angle there. You know, everything going through Pedri to make things uh, more effective in that position in the pitch. And once you get the ball here, a lot of the time you'll be rushed from the center backs of your opponents. So you just need to be patient. And Pedri is able to have that tight control. And not only that, but it's his runs into the box and his tight ball control in the box. A lot of players, even Romario now that I'm playing with on this squad, sometimes Romario will take a heavier touch than that. And you can see here in tight little angles, lovely little treaded through ball over the top into the end line for Munayin to get onto. And again here, you can see here that when the ball is back into this position, you can do a little trick, a little touch, double touch, beautiful ball in here, control, pass and gone, and does get a lucky break. But I think the biggest thing with him is his movement into the box. You'll see clip after clip after clip. You know, we get a bit lucky here, but it's the finesse finish again. He's, he's well able to finish, even though his stats aren't the highest. But his movement into the box when he's actually going from that center midfield position into a, a, an advanced center forward position with those runs, it depends the formation that you're playing as well. But he can make a lot of a lot of uh, he could be a game changing player for you when you put him into that position. He's not going to overturn the possession a lot, but when he gets on the ball right in this position here, this central position. Then it's the touch and go. Then it's the options. And you can see here, first time shot buries it into the in the in the corner of the goals. And that's what I think you need to use him as. I mean, sometimes you don't even need to hold L1 to, to, to press the, the touch and go. He just does the runs himself with the offensive awareness that he has. So again, here he just blows past and then gets the ball in in a cheeky little chip from a manual goalkeeping error. But again, you can just see time and time and time and time again, he slows the pace down, he picks his pass, he opens it up with one or two passes, and then it's a simple finish. Again, here, right in this position, waits, waits to see what's opening up. Okay, no problem, stunning shot, bottom of the net, bottom corner. And again, if you're run, roaming in with Pedri in these positions, you'll see nearly every clip is from here. Now, this is a beautiful pass in for Ronaldinho, but it's a lovely bounce finish as well. This, this looks easy, he makes this look easy, but a lot of players won't finish those shots. You know, you'll see clips... Um, where you'll be right in front of the goal and the player won't be able to finish it. So, yeah, I think Pedri, lads, to, to conclude, I think with all those clips there, I think Pedri is definitely 
he's definitely in my top 10 players so far he might even be top five and i do give him a rating of 10 out of 10 so to kick things off we did have to start with a big one and i think pedri for ninety six thousand for the price you're going to pay for him the way that you can train him up how you can progress him he can play any angle you know he can play even on the left flank or the right flank if you really know, need to but i would definitely play him as a an, an attacking midfielder or a center midfielder if you've got a really good dmf that can win the ball back um 10 out of 10 for Pedri, and that kicks us off in this first episode of this first series. So that is it from me, lads. We will be back. Let me know in the comments below who else you would like me to review. Um, I do like to thoroughly review them and see what they what they play like myself. So yeah, we'll be back with episode two as soon as the suggestions come in. Otherwise, 